We're two months into Fortnite Season 4, and some players still think that Spider-Man is in game right now. Or what about testing the myth that She-Hulk can mega fly into the air? What? These are 15 Season 4 myths put to the test. And if you don't drop a like on the video right now, Spider-Man will never come to Fortnite. I mean, we're gonna need some Fs in the chat, boys. It's looking unlikely. But coming in at number 15, can you rocket ride a henchman? So at the New Ruins BOI, you can find ghostly henchmen walking around with two kinds of weapons. Some have crossbows, and a lot of them, well, they have the pumpkin launchers. So with these henchmen, there's quite a few rumors and myths flying around that you could actually use these guys to rocket ride. So we set out to try and make it work, and after a ton of attempts, we actually got the timing right and jumped directly onto the henchman's rocket. Yes, you can actually rocket ride an NPC's pumpkin launcher, so uh, trick shot is where you at. But consider our first myth confirmed. Coming in at number 14, will henchmen revive Shadow Midas? This season, one of the exciting side stories have been the journey of two lone henchmen. Everyone knows about them. Started off with them partying at a gas station, then enjoying the views at the dam, and right now you could find them both at Sweaty Sands dressing up for Halloween. So there's a myth circulating that you could kill Shadow Midas, then pick up his downed body and take it all the way to Sweaty Sands. Then apparently you hand him over to the two henchmen in Halloween costumes and they might revive him. Well, does it work? I mean, it sounds pretty crazy, but we tried it anyway, so we collected a ton of chug splashes, took out Midas at the ruins, and actually carried this guy all the way over to Sweaty and dropped him at the henchman. All that effort, and guess what happened? N nothing they, they, they don't revive Midas, apparently, so myth busted. But coming in at number 13, can Shadows do built-in emotes? So considering you could change skins and everything like that, is it possible to do built-in emotes as shadows? Let's put it to the test. To go one step further, we even tested it as Kit, and it, it, oh my gosh, it sounds and looks demonic. So uh, yeah, terrifyingly, this myth is confirmed. But sticking with shadows, next up we have number 12. Will a shadow drop everything it's consumed once eliminated? So when you're playing as a shadow, you can't carry items and you don't regenerate health. Your only option is to consume the nearest item to gather some of your health back. At this point, you should know that shadows can eat as many items as possible, but a lot of people wonder if you eat a huge number of items as a shadow and get eliminated, will you drop every single thing you ate? Kind of like you're a walking Minecraft chest, so we became a shadow, went on a feast, eating as many items as possible. Guess what happened? After consuming over 100 items and getting eliminated, the shadow only dropped five. Apparently, no matter how many things you eat as a shadow, if you die, you will drop the five rarest things you've consumed, and that's it. I mean, it would be great if they at least dropped materials for us, but hey, myth busted. But moving on, our next myth is a lot cooler. Let's showcase number 11. Will Wolverine fight Midas if led to him? So right now, Wolverine is doing his thing over in Weeping Woods, and of course, there's Midas taking players' souls on the center island for Fortnite Mares. Like, what even is this season? Anyway, I think everyone has been a little curious as to what would happen if these two bosses met, and some miss out their claim that you could actually get Wolverine and Midas to fight each other. So we hopped into Fortnite and led Wolverine all the way over to the ruins with a car. Trust me, it took a long time. When he arrived, Midas noticed pretty quickly, and an epic battle commenced. So myth confirmed, you can actually get these two to fight each other, and I'm sure it works vice versa with all the other bosses. But coming in at number 10, can you upgrade henchman weapons? Okay, so with the henchmen at the ruins having pumpkin launchers and crossbows, there's a lot of questions out there as to what you can actually do with these weapons. I mean, we haven't seen these in a while. We wondered if there was a way to actually upgrade the weapons using an upgrade bench. So we killed a couple henchmen, got our items, got some mats, and made our way over to the upgrade bench. What happened next is actually incredibly surprising. So first we tried the crossbow and it, well, it didn't work. Bench just wasn't upgrading, so instead we switched to the pumpkin launcher, and oh man, you can actually upgrade your pumpkin launcher from epic to legendary. It's actually one of the most overpowered weapons in the game right now, so totally worth doing. So turns out, myth confirmed. But coming in at number nine, can you get the Shadow Midas skin early? Moving back onto Shadow Midas, there's a rumor out there that Mystique's built-in emote is so ridiculous that you can even get Shadow Midas as a skin early before it's released. I mean, think about it. There's no skin in-game of him, but there is the NPC, and apparently you could use him as a skin with Mystique. And yes, that is true. You actually can. We took down Midas, used the emote, and actually changed into him. It's a really cool way to preview the skin early or to try and trick another player, but I'm still convinced this emote is pay to win. So yeah, myth confirmed. But up next we have number eight. Can Wolverine self-revive while rifting? 
I think everybody already knows that Wolverine can actually self-revive while you're carrying him. I mean, I, I, has anyone else been terrified when this dude just jumps up and claws you in the back? But we wanted to test the limits of this respawn feature and see if he'd do it while rifting. So we took out Wolverine and carried him to a rift, but sure enough, he actually does continue to self-revive and even tries to attack you in mid-air. It's freaking terrifying. It's also not even fair epic because apparently Wolverine somehow doesn't even take fall damage even from this height. Like what? I mean, I knew killing Wolverine for the challenge was hard, but Epic really didn't pull any punches making him this strong. Myth confirmed. Coming in at number seven, does stacking all three speed consumables make you like some mega flash god thing? So with the new speed consumables in season four, there's quite a variety to choose from, except they all, well, pretty much do the same thing. So that begs the question, can you actually stack all the speed items to get completely cracked out? Like everything else on this list, we tested it. We stacked a pepper, a fish, and a peppermint, and it, well, it doesn't change your speed at all. Pretty much, you just run the same as if you'd only use one pepper, and we even did a distance test, and both attempts took 12 seconds to run across a bridge. So yes, this myth is 100% busted. Next up, coming in at number six, can shadows heal other ways besides consuming items? When I spoke about shadows healing up earlier, I mentioned that the only way to heal was by consuming things, but what if it wasn't? I mean, there could be ways out there to heal up without eating a feast of loot, so what is it? Lo and behold, we actually found different ways to heal up. So if you're a shadow low on health and you can't get a kill, use a campfire, maybe a slurp truck, even chug splashes work. It turns out you could heal without consuming items, but anyways, moving on to number five, can you fly extremely high with the broom? With the new Witch's Broom in Fortnite, it's pretty much just Silver Surfer's board reskinned. But there's a myth out there that you could fly much higher by comboing the broom with some other items. So we have to get like a little base level for our science experiment, and it turns out the regular broom only takes you to around 140 meters in the air. This next part is really gonna shock you. Using hop drops on the broom takes you a little bit higher than usual, so yep, it works, but then we tried it with Iron Man gauntlets, and wow, it makes a difference. Listen to this, instead of 140 meters where you cap out, working with the gauntlets took us to over 300. It doubled everything. Yeah, myth absolutely confirmed. By the way, try it. But moving on to number four, can the Spider-Man mythic be found in Quinjets? So a lot of people have been claiming that Spider-Man is coming to the game, and some go as far as to say that he's a boss and his mythic is already in game, really? There was even a leaked Spider-Man achievement, and since it's a crossover season, we may still see Spidey get added, but according to the myth, if you search the Quinjets over and over, you'll eventually get the Spider-Man mythic to drop. So we jumped in and tried this over and over, and just as we suspected, we only got She-Hulk's gauntlets and Black Panther's kinetic armor. The uh, clickbait is really out of hand sometimes, but who knows, maybe in a later update, we'll see Spidey's mythics get added to the pool. Consider this myth busted. But coming in at number three, can you super launch with She-Hulk and a crash pad? So the She-Hulk gauntlets are a pretty awesome mythic item this season, but a myth claims that you could actually do some kind of super launch with the gauntlets and a crash pad. If you remember, you could do a super launch with the Iron Man and Doctor Doom's abilities, so I kind of wanted to see if it worked with this as well. After some rigorous testing, we discovered that when using the gauntlet jump with She-Hulk, she doesn't really have that low gravity effect and she just smashes into the ground. I don't know why, but I was kind of curious to see if it affected the damage too, and it didn't. So super launched, more kind of like super busted. Ha, zing. <laughs> that was so cringe. <laughs> but now we move on to number two. Can a real player high five a ghost? All right, you all probably familiar with that emote that lets you high five anyone around you. And some people claim that if you're playing as a shadow and do the emote, you get high five a living player, even if you're not on the same team. So after trying it, we can confirm that you can indeed high five the living while being a shadow. Pretty cool, although I probably wouldn't recommend doing this unless you know for sure you're not gonna get absolutely murdered. Confirm though. But finally, our number one spot. Do you turn into a shadow with Mystique's emote? People claim that as Mystique, you could actually kill a shadow and then disguise as one for the perfect camouflage. I mean, imagine if this works, it'd be nuts. So we equipped it our Mystique skin, waited for a shadow to attack us, killed it, and then did the emote. Turns out you do steal their skin, but not the shadow skin. You actually transform into the skin that the shadow was wearing before they died. Weird, huh? It's kind of like identity theft, I guess. So it got us thinking, what if we died as Mystique, turn into a shadow, and then kill someone? Well, we tried that too and then did her emote as a shadow, but unfortunately it will not let you disguise as a human being a shadow. It just shows the animation without changing anything. So both of these myths, unfortunately, have been busted. But click on screen right now for a free cookie. This has been Tommy and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.